Yeah. Welcome back to White Mountains today. I am here with a. I'm here with Paul Graham of Zeb's General Store. You're going to love live local TV. You never know what's going to happen. That's right. We set up the phone because I think we're going to do a little watch and win at the end of this interview, so you may want to pay attention to this. You never know what the question is going to be at the end. So we set up the phone, and apparently we left the phone on, and it starts beeping right at the beginning of the right. interview. So That's right. we're going to start fresh. Paula, how are you? Good, honey. How are you doing this week? I am doing well. Paula is from Zeb's General Store, where apparently it's been a record-breaking week for you guys. It has been. Be You're blessed. People, uh, we had a bit very rainy day on Tuesday. Tuesday. I guess people were uh, were lining up outside was, the door. That, to get that was a combat pay day at Zeb's. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if for those who are with us for the first time visiting this beautiful area, maybe for the first time, what is Zeb's? It's the destination for the valley. It's not just a candy store. It's it's. Uh, it's an experience. You walk in and it's the old time smell mm. of the, the pickles and the, the candy, the popcorn, and no polished floors, antique floors. The building has been here for a couple of hundred years, and you just walk in and it's it's stimulating. It's visually, um, sens you know, all your senses are yeah. just boing, and it's a great experience. People go, oh my god, oh my god, it's like. Oh my God, I remember this when I was a kid. I remember that when I was a kid. And these people that are older, that, that make me look like a kid, so. The, the smell when you first walk in is amazing. Yeah. The smell of all the, uh, you know, the, the, the foods yep. that are all in Zeb's. Uh, and even just like the feel of the wood planks, the old like wood planks of the floor yeah. when you walk in. My kids are always talking about the old days, probably because I reference the old days. Yeah. And, you know, I guess everybody has their own definition of what the old days were. But take your kids into Zeb's to really give them a feel of what life used to be like before the cell phones, the video games, and everything else. That's right. And, and when you come in, Take those cell phones that you go on like this, put them in your pocket. There you go. Because some people, Enjoy. they'll put them down and then they'll be like, I can't find my phone. So I say, what's the number? <laughs> we call it up. It rings. We find their phone. But really, put the phone away. You need to just enjoy the full experience. Be in the moment, as they say, at Zeb's General Store. So one of the things, you can find all sorts of things at Zeb's. you got clothes, you've got toys, you've got bath and body, you've got kitchen. You also have snacks. We have snacks. Today was based on my first sale Thursday behind the register. I, it was busy, so I came down and and these people were loading up. And I said, "What what river are you going to? And should I bring beer or wine when I meet you there?" And they said, "Oh, we're we're going home." But they they had been in earlier in the week and they just kept buying more of their favorites to take home with them. Very nice, because a lot of these things you're not going to find elsewhere. Anywhere you've else, got Zeb's valley. label and you've got also right. very locally crafted uh, snacks here. Yeah. So what are we talking about? What, what are some of the popular ones? Well, right here, I'm going to start here. These are the Coastal Maine Popcorn from Booth Bay. Booth Bay. We have a personal connection to Booth Bay with our owners. Yep. And here on your right, uh, three of the children's, I would call them the children's flavors. Orange Creamsicle. How about that? Mm, orange creamsicle popcorn. Yeah. Cotton candy. Now, is this popcorn or kettle corn? It's popcorn. OK. And root beer float. No kidding. The, and there is s'mores and caramel and chocolate, sea salt, caramel, you know, a little bit of too much sugar. But then the adults, one of the favorites is the buffalo wing. Wow. Buffalo popcorn. Yeah, buffalo wing my, popcorn. I, you say adults. My eight-year-old is crazy about buffalo. Wow. Then salt and vinegar. Mmm, Dad's crazy about salt and vinegar. And the white cheddar, which is like smart fruit. Yep. Mm. You know, so that's just that's a few of the popcorn flavors. Wow. Then we have our Hutchinson's candies. Hutchinson's is from Hampton, and uh, their caramel here. This is the yeah the caramel cream corn, and this is gluten free. This here. Okay, and then we have a trail mix of dried fruits and nuts. The banana chips are really, really. Nice snack mm. for the children. And they're out of where again? Hampton. Hampton, yeah. They and they make our kettle corn. Am mm. I holding it in front of the? I think so. The right. There we go. There we go. Delicious yeah. Zeb's kettle corn. Then What's this, the difference between popcorn and kettle corn? I think it's more oil. Popcorn is air popped, I think. And then mm. you see when you see kettle corn, sometimes they stir it and it pops. I think that I, I think the difference and is salt and is sugar. Sugar, salt, salt and they add sugar. sugar to kettle corn. Yeah. And then there's a new thing this year. These popcorn chips, they're gluten-free because 
They made out of corn. No kidding. So it's popcorn, as they call hmm. it. And it, it's air popped, gluten free. This is a sea salt. I thought, yep. you know, a little bit healthier. Yeah. Okay, so th then we're going to go to some snacks for, you know, little your barbecue or your picnic by the lake or is hiking. This is this by you, Paula Graham, the no, graham crackers? No, no, it's not. I don't even like graham crackers. <laughs> <laughs> milk chocolate smothered graham crackers. Yeah, that, those are a big seller. We have them in dark and milk chocolate. And they're really, really a favorite. Then we have Lucy's Granola, and we have a gluten-free. Is this the one that's gluten-free? Yes, this is gluten-free. Yes. Just lock it down. I'll, I'll hold it. We're, we're driving huh? It's yeah. crazy today <laughs> yeah. because... Hans is a one-man show. Can you imagine doing this show, just one person? He's like running back between, forth between That's the why roads. we call him Hans the Roadrunner. There we go. There we go. Lucy, so this is the gluten-free gluten granola. gluten-free granola. And this is out of Blue Hills... Uh, Maine. Blue Hill, Maine. Yeah. And then this one... Is the original handmade, delicious, toasted, and crunchy. No mm. sugars, no trans fat, lots of fiber. Then we've got uh, Fastaki out of actually Watertown, Massachusetts. This is a wasabi nut mix. You would like the hotties. So lots of snacks. Lots of snacks. What is? Where's the best place to take a snack in the White Mountains? Because you can't eat it right at the register at Zeds. Right. People probably do. You know, they probably try. They, if you're just downtown being the tourist and, and shopping and not knowing that there's anything out there besides the outlets and that, you know, go over to Shula Park under a shady tree. Mm. You know, there's plenty watch of Watch the that. trains go by. The train, hear the train, watch the traffic go by, try to dodge the traffic. Or I like the, the people, you said that your first sale yesterday was people stocking up for home. Yeah. Bring it home with you, keep the kids quiet on the way home too. Well, they do that. Mm. A lot of people buy candy to keep the kids quiet on the way home and I haven't figured out that <laughs> angle yet. It works it for works. 30 seconds and then the rest yeah. of the two hours is... This is Miserable. a new offering, lobster chips out of Maine. Um, it's a friendship lobster company. Mm. And um, it's a- Lobster chips? Yeah. Enjoy the taste of real Maine lobster in every bite. Right. And they go really wow. well with this creamy Gouda. This one here, this creamy, that's the sun-dried tomato. You have a huge salt. selection of, of cheeses at yeah, Zeb's. we do. This is great. Mm. And then we also have smoked cheddar. This here, if you melt it, um, if you make um, the Stonewall Kitchen black bean salsa and you heat it really, really, almost to the point of boiling, you stir this kibble in. As you'll see, it's little mm. chopped, diced up. Oh my God, you stir it in and keep it um, on the heat. You know, you stir it in, take, turn the heat off, and let it sit there for about 10 minutes, stirring every few minutes, and it melts in. This is fabulous. If you add ground beef or turkey, you can make like a chili because Stonewall Kitchen's black bean salsa has lots of veggies in it. This is why you have to go to Zeb's and talk to Paula yourself because not only does she know about all, all about these products, she's used every single one of them, incorporated them into some recipe. She knows multiple uses for them. She's like our little Martha Stewart of the Valley. I oh love my. it. And here's some Stonewall Kitchen olive oil crackers that are really very good. Am I hold them in the right spot? Yeah, that's pretty good. And we also have buffalo bison summer sausage, mm. very healthy, you know, and we have some. Now, buffalo bison, things. does that mean it is buffalo, like a spicy buffalo, or no, is it mean buffalo, buffalo slash bison? So it's bison. It's bison, and it's, it's real meat, and it's from New Hampshire here. I forget where in New Hampshire, the Yankee Farmer's Market in Warner, New Hampshire. Mm. And then we have the venison summer sausage out of Ridgeway Farms in Vermont really um, popular. We sell out of this a lot. And just sort of like animal For crackers. The kids. Oh. Or, I mean, this know. is a great thing. Animal crackers with the bear on the label. Yep. I mean, these are these are New Hampshire animal crackers. That's right. Animals you will find in New Hampshire. I see a bobcat, deer, it looks like a, uh, maybe a peregrine falcon there, and a coyote. Yeah, you can yeah. eat them all. And on the back, there's an eagle, a moose, some deer, uh, another bobcat, a little fox. The only thing better than watching New Hampshire's wildlife is right. eating them. <laughs> <laughs> then we have some super seeds. These are pumpkin seeds in different spices. Really? Oh, I got them in the right spot. Nice, you nailed that one. I know. 
God, I'll have to keep looking at the yeah. monitor to my left. And then if you just want a snack and, you know, sort of be a little deck. Oh, now he changed it on me. It's going to come back. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you totally missed that one. Down. There you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, cranberries and almonds, uh, uh, mocha beans. These are coffee beans, espresso beans with milk chocolate, the cranberry and almonds. These are made um, in Cape Cod and a bunch of mocha beans. Yeah, on the Cape again, Sagamore. Uh, mm. Then we also have, keep that camera there like that, please, Hans. <laughs> See if I get the right spot. Not a little too okay, high again, there you go. Okay, then the cranberries and pecans are one of my favorites. Banger blues. And then the banger blues mm. and, and the milk chocolate covered blueberries. I love those. They're also I've in dark chocolate. Do you like the dark or the milk? I'm getting to like the dark more. Yeah, I like the you dark now. Then we have small little taste size bags of non pareils for the kids. You know, if you're out walking, you don't have to load them all up. Yep. And the dark. And the white chocolate also. <laughs> of course, my favorite okay. thing, I, these, this, these little bags are great. I see lots of people carrying these out. I like just getting the brown paper bag and you say, I'll take, you know, like a half a pound of that, three of those. Yeah. And they mix and match all the and penny candies from the big candy, candy and counter. This is one of the old fashioned things. Maybe you still make them at home. These are those crispy cakes, um, Rice, Rice crispy cake. cakes. Yeah, we may, we've made those before. They don't look like that, though. That's, no, that these thing's are huge. a monster. But you know, you, I just say you can cut them up in small pieces, and a little is a lot. Sometimes less is more. Or you do what I do, and you just say, oh, I'm on vacation. It, a lot of people <laughs> do that. But you know, these are just a few of the snacks. I mean, we have more nuts and more cheeses. We've got a new line for the Plymouth uh, Cheese Company out of Plymouth, New Hampshire. And they're all the wax covered, and they're very colorfully waxed in that. And they're, they're a new line. We'll bring them someday in the fall. And, you know, just enjoy. But, you know, I think the best place to enjoy these is, like, by the river and then go in for a swim. Or if you're hiking, and then just keep hiking and walk these all off, yep. you, you know. But just remember, take back what you bring in. So That's right. Make carry sure you bring in, carry in little, out. Yep. Keep our state clean. Okay, Paula, one thing we didn't talk about is this. We're going to give this away right, right now. What is this? This is Zeb's Bloody Mary. It's the hot and spicy Blood and Mary mix, you know. And it's not that hot and spicy. I mean, if you're real hot, you might want to add some horseradish. But on our website, we have... Um, a recipe for a beef stew made mm, with this. No kidding. And it's a no peak beef stew. I think it's like 275 for three and a half hours or something. But the original recipe had called for Campbell's tomato juice. Oof. And I substituted this and everybody freaked. It's just great. <laughs> so, And I've actually heard it makes great Bloody Marys makes as great well. Bloody Mary. And some people, I don't like vodka. And um, some people say try it with rum. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Well, it's going to be one of those days, thunder showers this afternoon. This may come in handy for right. people huddling under the tent or uh, inside for a little bit. We're going to give this away right now. Call 603-356-6619. And because this is a watch and win extravaganza, I have more prizes that I can give away. Oh, okay. I'm going to combine it with a Cranmore Summer Adventure Pass. This is good for the Cranmore Mountain Adventure Park. Uh, this is good for you can do unlimited mountain coastering. Mm -hmm. They have uh, a chairlift ride to the summit. They have a giant swing, they have a Soaring Eagle zip line, summer tubing, it's a lot of fun stuff. Just thought of a question, a Zeb's question. You thought of it? Okay. Well, as Hans we was know, about to pop one up, but we'll do, we'll do Paula's. As we know, Zeb was a sea captain. He did the schooner trade, shipping trade along the New England coast. What was the name of his ship? Oh my goodness, really? It's right up there on a quarterboard <laughs> on the beam if you're walking out of the store. Uh, is, it on, is it on your website? I don't but know. We might be here but for is Googling that fair? We might, we might be here for a little while trying to get that, Paula. Do you want to do an easier question? Or oh. we can take a break. Or we can just do a question, a different question. Uh, well, How do you spell Zeb? <laughs> capital Z, or if you're Canadian, capital Z, E B, apostrophe S, but not on the website. It's zebs.com. Zebs. And you can actually buy most of this stuff right on the web. Uh, we're running out of time. Do you? Okay. I think we're going to be here a little while okay. with that question. Well, I mean, I can leave, or and I'll take this with me. You you close at ten, so you can come to the store to pick this up. It'll be at the front desk. Okay. And 
you know, if it, there might be something on our website about it. But okay, so this is what we'll do. Here. Go see Paula at Zeb's today. Tell her the name of Zeb's ship, which is, right. you can find it right at Zeb's. Yeah. She'll give you a bottle of Bloody Mary mix, but you have to be the first person to do it. Right. She's not going to just hand out bottles all day. Right. So first person to tell Paula at Zeb's, Zeb's ship gets a free bottle of Bloody right. Mary mix. And Before we'll, 2 o'clock. We'll give away the Cranmore Pass later. Paula, thank, thank you, you so much.